Figma just purchased an AI company. Not only that, they've actually started to post AI and machine learning jobs on their job portal. And this happened just before New Year's, which means that in 2023, we're gonna see some incredible AI features. I will be breaking down seven AI-based Figma features, which are gonna come in the next few updates. The first feature is linked to the latest update, which introduced text correction or grammar correction in Figma. Now they shared other companies using this to create AI based content on your Figma file. So the probability of this feature coming to life is the most out of every possible feature they could take out using AI. So imagine typing in a piece of text and AI improving that text or suggesting you something new that you can write instead of that. Text based AI models like ChatGPT easily do this if you just type in your requirement. Again, this is something really interesting and I'm super excited to see this feature come in built with Figma. The second feature I have my fingers crossed for is actual image and illustration creation using AI. Now a popular concept in AI is called stable diffusion which is essentially a text to image based AI model which can produce both cartoonish images as well as very detailed lifelike images as well. It'll be great because everyone can then create custom illustrations, icons etc inside Figma. Now the closest thing to this is the magician plugin on Figma where you type in a description or a type of icon or illustration you want and it creates custom illustrations based on that description. Number three is design system creation and organization using AI. An automatic creation of a design system. Easy to create quick design systems. It'll be great because it will set a base for a design system that you want to create. Rather than you spending hours on doing it manually, you'll have this option of doing it with AI. Accessibility and usability analysis. Now I spoke about a software by 3am, which essentially detects where the users will look based on certain designs that you have created. And all that is done through AI. So no actual humans are looking at your design, but an AI is able to look at your design and judge where the actual real users will be looking in your design and creates heat maps based on. Now this can be counterproductive because in a lot of cases, UX research will be done by real users. So testing should ideally be done by the real users as well. I don't look at this feature being a replacement for any design process or step, but I essentially look at it from a good to have point of view, where it's good to have such a feature, but it's not ideal for actual real UX designers. AI based APIs. Now Figma is known to release their actual APIs, which developers, programmers can use it to create special plugins or to extend the feature set of Figma. AI APIs can be very interesting where a plugin developer can pick up these AI features and put it into the plugin. So with these APIs, you will essentially see a lot more plugins using Figma's inbuilt AI features. So imagine a world where plugins become twice or thrice more powerful than they already are but have AI features inbuilt. Another great feature, which is actually a specialization of Impera, the company Figma is taking over, is search. Sometimes our libraries become so cluttered and searching for a design is very difficult. Imagine searching for a particular screen or text in any one of your projects. So imagine if you have multiple projects, there's a title called YouTube. If you type in YouTube, it will show you the, the exact file and the exact position of that YouTube text in one of your projects. This is very similar to what Google Photos does right now. If you type in dog or puppy, it will show you photos of dogs in your library. By searching for text, images, and things that look like what you are describing in search. So search becomes more powerful, documentation becomes more powerful. Part of AI that we all forget about are AI-based bots. So these are automated bots, however, with the mind of an artificial intelligent model. So looking at what our other tools and websites do, there might be a little chat box where you can literally talk to someone learn design, learn Figma. It might help you understand certain problems and come up with certain solutions for certain tasks that you are doing. Like a Figma assistant of sorts. Now this next feature was actually suggested to me by some of you on Instagram saying this is a feature that you'd like to see. And the feature is automating tasks using AI repetitive tasks which you might be doing every day things like adding a background decreasing or decreasing a border radius or detaching an instance whatever the daily task you are doing which is a repetitive which is repetitive in nature can be replaced with ai 
So AI might automate a lot of things that you do. This is similar to some of the suggestions you might get in certain coding platforms. You're coding, you're writing a piece of code and you might get suggestions on how to improve that code or replace it with some other function, etc. Another amazing feature is converting wireframes to a final design. So you might see some of the UI Zerd based features where it detects a design on a piece of paper like a wireframe and converts that wireframe onto a real screen UI. So essentially you'll be able to convert paper wireframes to a real UI using AI and uh, certain AI based technologies. Now, Adobe, Figma's parent company, actually has its own AI called Sensei. So I don't see this as a far off future for Figma. I feel this will be coming in the next few months. With Adobe Sensei, there are things like video editing using AI, cutting or cropping things out of images automatically, being able to track things based on your description, intelligent content based on scanning documents, etc. as with Adobe Scan. So Sensei is already a thing and it's a big part of Adobe software. So I see Figma also adapting something like that. So those were all the potential features that I feel we'll be getting with Figma in the next few months or within the next one to two years. I'm super excited about this collaboration between Impera and Figma and I wish them all the best. And it's good for all of us because we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff happening with Figma. I hope you liked that video. I'll be seeing you next week, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.